gain over a hundred thousand Australian dollars automatic in scholarship through this opportunity I'm going to share with you right now have you been interested and you just want to know how to study in Australia are you interested in getting scholarship for education it is very expensive to sponsor to self-sponsor your education are you interested in scholarship are you interested in studying in Australia are you interested in doing your masters or your PhD and you're wondering where to start from who can fund your program who can you know where where do you go from you know worry not today I'm going to share with you a fantastic scholarship that has been launched from the University of Melbourne. This, this scholarship accommodates and gives over 600 students, both domestic and international students. Listen, it covers both international and domestic, over 600. Why don't you be part of this 600 who will be given this over 100,000 Australian dollars? That's big. So this scholarship takes care of health. Your health insurance is very expensive. I pay $3,600 as a student in the US for just health, you know? So it's going to take care of your health insurance. It's going to take care of your full tuition, which is a big deal. It's going to take care of your full tuition. It's going to take care of your allowance, your flights from your country and back, among other things, this is a wonderful scholarship. So if you're interested to study in Australia, I'm going to share this. This is what I'm going to share in the video. How to get to this scholarship, how to find your advisor, how and what are the challenges you probably you might receive and all, and how to go about it. I'm going to share that through my laptop. I'm also going to share with you eligibility criteria and generally how to go about it just the whole scholarship as a whole if you are meeting me for the very first time my name is sheila atieno van de graaf i'm an international student studying in, here in the us i'm currently doing my second master's international development and i'm on full scholarship so i know how scholarships are very important and how these scholarships can take us far i'm here with my daughter and it has been really an interesting journey and I'm also on part-time, I do a research assistant. I also work part-time, we are allowed to do 20 hours a week. I do work as a research assistant. And I also have um, a non-profit organization that's supporting vulnerable people uh, out in my country and across Africa. So I'm so excited, let's not dilute the main thing. The main thing for today is the scholarship. So let's go straight. If you like this so far, what I'm saying, please take a second, subscribe to my channel, like, and just leave a comment where you're watching me from. And if whatever I'm sharing is of value. So let's go to the scholarship. So as you can see from the website, this is a scholarship from university, the University of Melbourne. So it's a graduate research scholarship available to high achieving students. And by the way, if you need any help with the application, reach out to me in good time. Don't reach out to me two weeks or one week before the deadline. And all I can do for now, because I have a busy schedule, I can take time and read through your application documents. If you want a one-on-one -one, one -on -one consultation, we can discuss that. I can review your documents for free and send back the feedback. That is if you send me information on in good time, okay? Um, so let's go to the scholarship first. The application type. So this, this scholarship does not require separate application. It is automatic once you apply to be a student at the University of Melbourne. I'm going to show you how to go about it. Once you apply, you automatically qualify for this scholarship, but you must express your interest and that's what I'm going to share with you. So here it's written, no application is required. You will automatically be considered for this award. This is wonderful. Total value, it's 100% fee um, remission and up to actually up to 110 
thousand Australian dollars. This is really nice. Um, then application type. This scholarship is applicable to all study areas. So you don't have to specialize in a particular field. It, it just needs to be a graduate research um, field. It's applicable to all fields. Um, then citizenship requirement, Australian citizens, which are also considered domestic students, but they also they also have domestic and international students, as you can see here on the screen. Number of scholarship awarded, they uh, award over 600 scholarship. So we are, we are in luck here. So let's go to eligibility criteria. So eligibility is you have uh, for you to be eligible for this scholarship for you to qualify that's another meaning for you to qualify for this scholarship you have to have to have applied so those current students who are at the university of melbourne can qualify for this or if you're not yet at the university of, of melbourne don't worry all you need to do is just to apply to the university of melbourne and meet the entry uh, entry requirements for graduate research degree at the university of melbourne just apply or currently be enrolled that's what i've just explained so selection criteria these will all domestic uh, and international students this this one you can read for yourself okay <laughs> then uh application process i'll take you through that so you also see application process uh, you see what, what when will I know the outcome? So you'll be off, this will be shared with the same as your admission letter. So I mean, then let's look at the benefits. What are the benefits of this scholarship? Some of the benefits of this scholarship is the full fee offset. So they take care of your full fee. Those who are undertaking master's degree, it's taken care of up to four years of your study and also those are up, up to two years for masters and up to four years for phd it takes care we are living ex expenses thirty-four thousand australian dollars annually that's this is really this is a really really good uh, scholarship then they also give you re 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 relocation grant of two thousand dollars and uh, $3,000 for students who are moving from outside Australia. Overseas student health cover, among other things. So this is really good. So when you scroll down on the screen, you will see this section interested in this scholarship. Please click on register. When you click on register, you leave your details. And um, so here it's indicating give a given name, email address but you put your phone number and all that this is like one minute why i am sharing this is that when you click on interested it will keep on updating you of the scholarship it will keep on updating you on how you know so many information about this scholarship so it is not how to register for the scholarship it is basically just letting them know that you're interested in scholarship how to apply for this scholarship i am going to i got you covered i'm going to share with you how to apply for this scholarship so we've gone through that let's go back to the page now we've gone through the page um and then let's click on how to apply how to apply when you click on how to apply then you click on graduate research so when you click on graduate research this is how you go about it you go there's domestic application there's international application so i'm interested i'm a little bit biased towards international application so i'll click on international application so international applications entry requirements as a, we've touched on this um you're considered an international okay this is um these are just basic you can pass through them and then before you apply for this you need to find a supervisor the course requirement you need to find a supervisor so let me let me tell you finding a supervisor for university of melbourne it's not difficult all you need to do is see it's indicated you're finding a supervisor check the course you are applying for so you, you can click on this link and see uh, the course you're applying for let's see those who want uh, actual studies 
or I don't know what what do you guys want to study here at University of you know Melbourne then when 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 you've decided let, let's see you want to do something on um okay they've given us example here biofuels biofuels so when you put the study your study field biofuel it has given me a list of over 20 supervisors who are willing to supervise my work if i wanted to study by if i wanted to do by well i have 20 supervisors this is amazing so all you need to do is just to click on, the, on their link and send them an email that you're interested to do uh, by fuel and you're you're really keen on working with them you for when you reach out to them please try and share with them maybe something like your topic if you have a research proposal it would be wonderful to have a research proposal and you know your interest where you want to study that and how you want to impact with that your topic and all that so this is very straightforward how to find a supervisor is very straightforward once you found a supervisor now let's go and apply for this scholarship so how do you apply? I know that's the question that you're asking yourself. How do I apply? So just again on the website, you are required to choose a course. We said probably one interested in biofuels or climate change or entrepreneurship or whatever you are interested in. University of Melbourne have, has all those courses majority of the courses i hope so <laughs> haven't checked on all the courses just go in and research and check on it if it's a graduate research course amazing you've selected your course now ch you've checked on eligibility you're eligible um which is very straightforward again on their website it's very straightforward you're eligible you found a supervisor prepare your documents you prepared your documents and these are like um transcripts your um, the documents they're talking about is your transcripts they are your certificates and for those who are wondering about english speaking it's indicated here on the website is that if by any chance you've done two years of your study in an english speaking background or english speaking country or you're taught in english you will not be required to do the english exam so you are exempted confirm from the website okay so you so you check on that and those are some those are majority of the documents that you'll be required to to have then here the fourth one apply with melbourne so this is where you click you click on the link so when i click on the link it takes me to how to apply apply with Melbourne early application is recommended for graduate research uh, courses as you may be given an early offer by the school late application may also may also be accepted if places are available please 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 my advice apply early because you need this scholarship you don't want to be told oh places are filled in but we okay we can admit you to University of Melbourne no apply early so when you apply early um if you are a current student at melbourne you can click on this link but if you are a new student you can apply online here so you click on it you click on the link as i've done then when you click on it it takes you to this page how to apply and manage your application so since i'm assuming we are, we are not yet at university of melbourne so we don't qualify as of automatic you can apply as a new student click on this blue link down here apply as a new student skip all those information up there apply as a new student so it will take you to this page put in your personal details as indicated here your name your family name your email address address details citizenship guys citizenship then terms of agreement you click on it then all you need to do is you register you select the course you apply you submit and complete i mean 
it's very very straightforward it's there's nothing complicated here i do not want to start this process because i'm already studying in in the u.s and i'm on full scholarship but if i was on you know i would have easily crossed this is a really nice um, scholarship for international students and also the domestic students who are australian citizens so take advantage of this um Another thing worth noting is that you'll also be required to provide referees. A lot of people don't take time to vet the people they are reaching out to uh, recommend them. These recommendation letters are always very important. They are read by the admission uh, committee and they will add value to your final application. So to your final um, verdict. So please take few minutes of your time engage with your referees update them on your success update them on your achievements let them know where you are and you know what you've achieved over the last time you met keep on updating them because if they do not know what you write they're going to write a generic recommendation and we don't want anyone to write a generic recommendation we want a recommendation that when somebody reads and say, oh, this is a leader, this is somebody we want to give scholarship because once they're done with this scholarship, they're going to empower so many people. We want this, this person because even this authority has recommended her or him with so much energy and even examples. Give examples. Let you recommend the person who is doing the recommendation, let him know that over the year you are chosen a leader or you 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 manage to empower this number of people or you manage to you know give example you know so you'll be required to give you will you will also need to provide names and contact details of two referees if it's less than five years since you completed your last course you should be added so you, you can add, put in your academic referees and also you are i mean depending on what you want to put there but i will strongly encourage you to put in people who know you very well and people who will not tell you oh i'm very busy or i cannot submit your recommendation i will tied up yeah people are so busy and they get tied up but your life is also very important and reach out to them in good time actually if you reach out to me one week to two weeks to and i mean i don't have time to i'll write you a generic or I, or i'll just tell you i'm busy and there's nothing else you can do reach out to them in good time Keep on updating them, keep on sharing with them. Those who have uh, published, you need to put in your publication, it's indicated here. The authors, the book chapters, it's really nice. Um, so how to apply, you, we've mentioned that. So after you applied, you'll be assessed and given information, um, given information in on how to go forward after your application so this is university of melbourne 110,000 scholarship are waiting for you to apply to start now guys if you find any difficulties on this application reach out to me every day i receive over 100 emails so if i haven't responded to your emails up until now i I am on the way you're on the list don't worry because I know how what it means to empower people I know what it means to share such information so if this information was important to you and you found value in it please take a second and subscribe to my channel I share opportunities on scholarship I share opportunities on uh, free application just opportunities around study abroad how to go about it how to you know and i also have a strategy consultation uh, uh, time those who want to engage with me on one-on-one -on, -one on my zoom and all that please reach out and the easiest and the fastest way to reach out to me is through commenting on the video i always respond to all comments so comment on the video and you'll get me like almost immediately i respond immediately to the comments on the video because it sends me a pop-up immediately on my you know so comment and let me know where you're watching me from i love i love that where are you watching me from do you find value in this please subscribe like share be blessed and all the best